Hello students, welcome and today we are going to discuss about a lake that turns animals to stone. In the shadow of Africa's great rift valley lies a lake that defies life itself. Its color is blood red and its touch is deadly. Welcome to Lake Natron, the lake that turns animals into stone. Here, nestled in the North Tanzania region at the foot of an active volcano, this Lake Natron stretches quietly across the East African Rift region. But its calm surface hides an extreme secret, a chemistry so hostile that it preserves dirt like an art. In this particular lake, the waters are highly alkaline where the pH is close to 10.5 that is as caustic as ammonia. It is fed by mineral rich hot springs and volcanic sodium carbonate. Its waters can literally burn the skin and dissolve the flesh. Temperatures soar above 60 degrees Celsius and intense evaporation leaves behind vast salt flats. But interestingly, the lake of death is an area where life blooms. Confused? Here, Tens of thousands of flamingos nest on the salt crust every year. The same deadly alkalinity that kills predators protects flamingos and turning this lake into a sanctuary. So here the death guards the life if you see. Animals that accidentally fall into the river are calcified. Their bones are coated with sodium carbonate, preserved like sculptures of time. It's not an instant petrification, but over a period, the mineral reactions mummify their remains, giving them a haunting stone-like appearance. Lake Natron sits in an endorheic basin, a closed drainage system formed by East African Rift, where no water flows. And this unique geomorphic setting combined with volcanic activity and high evaporation has created one of the Earth's most extreme ecosystems, a living laboratory of a planetary science. To the most, it is lake of death and to flamingos, it is a cradle of life. And in the Lake Natron, nature writes a poetry where danger protects beauty and silence tells the stories older than time. Thank you. Thank you.